You see, when you want to prepare a lecture to deliver in front of people, you need at least four to five hours preparation. Then you come, you sit down. Now we don't sit down in front of people anymore. We sit in front of laptops and cameras. But you sit down and you're careful with every word you say. You try to present yourself in front of people in a very formal way. And you watch out every single word that you say. Do you spend the same time preparing for your dua when you want to speak to Allah? If speaking to people takes you four to five hours of preparation, speaking to Allah, how long does it take you to prepare? Do you watch what you say when you pray to Allah? Same as you watch what you say when you are delivering a lecture or not? See, this is what, something that you have to keep in mind. When you go to someone uh, famous or a role model that you have, as religious people, let's say your marja. When you go to your marja, do you sit down and ask for your needs straight away? Or you come up with lines of praising, with, <laughs> with poems? in praising these people, correct? Out of respect, and there's nothing wrong with that. Out of respect, is done. you praise this uh, scholar, you praise this marja. Do the same thing, at least the same thing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you want to pray to Allah, to ask for something from Allah, start by praising Him. Say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Mention the attributes that are reflected in His purified names. The names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in every name, there's a secret. Or there's secrets in every name. Mention the reflection of the names in the perfect human being, our Master Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Start by mentioning the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Mention the purified house of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. 